welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be going over um, our third cash envelope stuffing for this month. Um, this includes my husband's last paycheck and my recent paycheck. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. The amount that we had left over after our bills was $725. And with this, we decided to give ourselves $100 in spending. <clears throat> I know this sounds like kind of a lot, but recently we've realized that if we don't give ourselves enough spending money, then we overspend. And it's not even for like things that aren't useful. It's just if we don't give ourselves that little buffer, then we will overspend. So we're just giving ourselves $100 up front. <clears throat> And yes, I am still kind of trying to deal with this cough or cold, whatever I have. So sorry if I keep um, clearing out my throat and stuff, but still trying to get through it. Now for our savings, <clears throat> um, because we still don't have a bank that we can pull out denominations or specific denominations with, um, I had to pull out in 20. So obviously with 725 I had to just take that extra five dollars and put it towards our savings so we're gonna do 205 in savings and I should mention we do we did get a bank here in Utah but for some reason when I went to transfer the money from my old bank to this bank it it went through and then it reversed and they put it back in my regular bank account so i need to figure out what happened there because that's how i was gonna like the whole reason i got the new bank was to pull out denominations and now something is showing that it's not gonna work that way so i need to figure that out but for now we did 20s luckily i was able to break some of the 20s um so I do have some denominations that I'm going to separate out. Um, I also forgot to mention that I'm only pull, pulling out 40 in cash for me. And I'm leaving 60 in my bank account for any kind of electronic um, like things that I want to buy, like from Amazon or from like a website or anything. So 60, let me move this really quick. Um, in bank. <clears throat> okay, and then Nate, I already gave him his $100 in cash, so that is good to go. Now for our cash envelopes, we have $320 to stuff today. And these are the envelopes that I have. So the biggest um, expense right now that we have coming up is our trip to San Antonio. So I decided to put most of the, or not most, but a big chunk of this 320 towards travel. Next envelope we have is, um, I'm just gonna go to the next biggest one, which is actually a few of them. So <clears throat> we have entertainment. This one's getting $55. Christmas is gonna get 40. Sorry, I'm going out of order. I'm going by most to least. Um, for how much they're getting. Clothes is getting 40. Um, household is getting 40. Car maintenance is getting 25. <clears throat> and then kids every day is getting 20. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my cash out. And I got one of these sunglasses holders to like neatly put my cash to the side here. I saw a lot of like YouTuber budget channels do this, so I thought it was a good idea. <clears throat> so let me just count the cash really quick. It should be 355 with my 40 cash. And this is actually gonna be 35 cash because I spent five dollars already, so 355, um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, so 260, 70, 80, 90, 300, 
and 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. <clears throat> okay, so that's 355. So first I'm gonna pull out pull out, sorry, my 35 cash. Um, I'll just leave it like that. Um, 20 35 and that's just because I've already spent five dollars of the 40 cash that I was supposed to pull out. Um, and then we'll get into my cash envelopes. <clears throat> so first we'll go with Christmas, this one is getting $40, so 20, 40. <clears throat> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 11, 12. 112 and Christmas. It doesn't fit. Um, household will be getting 40. So 20, 40, and let me put these. The same direction. So 20, 45, 56, sorry, 20, 45, 51, two, three, four, $54. Travel, we'll be getting 100. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And let me break this up a little bit since we have a few. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 70, 81, 82. So 282. And then we have an account in our bank that has a little over 200 for travel as well. Next, we'll go to entertainment. This one is getting 55. So 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 58. Kids Every Day is getting 20. We'll do, let's use a 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 124. Clothes is getting 40, 20, 30, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, or sorry, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. <clears throat> and lastly, we have car maintenance, and this one is getting 40, so I don't know if this, let's see. Oh, that's actually fine that it's all broken up because, like I said last time, most car washes are like $8 or $12, so this is fine. So 5, 25, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <clears throat> and now car maintenance will have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So 146. And that's all the cash envelopes. Now 
I do have some money left over from my spending allowance last time. I have $2 and some change. So the change is gonna go into our change jar. And I actually also have some change left over from cash envelopes that I keep in my cash envelopes baggie. <clears throat> so I'll just put that in there as well. And then this $2 is gonna go in my little locker safe at the end of the year. I will open it up and see how much I have in here. But my plan is every time I pull out cash for my spending, the end at the end of um, that week or whenever I film my next video, whatever's left will go in here. And then this will all go into the jar, which I will take you upstairs to put this in the jar. Y'all look how ginormous my belly has gotten in the last couple weeks. Ridiculous. Okay, so here is our change jar, just like a giant Coke bottle. And we're going to put our change in here. Once this fills up, I'm going to do a video where we take it to get it cashed out. But as you can see, we have a long way to go. So that video probably won't be until, honestly, like next year. But that's where we're at, so not bad. Okay, so that's everything for my cash envelopes. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit quick, more quick and to the point. That way they're not super long for you to watch. But um, yeah, please let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. And I will see you in our next video. Have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and thank you for watching. Bye.